Hi, it's Grandma Linda here. How are you today? I hope you had an awesome day. And are you ready for sleep? We're going to read a story tonight called Pete the Cat's Train Trip. We've read a couple of his books before. So let's see what Pete is going to do on his train trip. Awesome long train. Pete the Cat is going to visit his grandma. He gets to ride on a train. Here he is standing at the train station with his luggage. Pete's mom buys three tickets. He gives one to Pete and one to his brother, Bob. Oh, it looks like they all might be going on the train, huh? There's the schedule for the train, what time it leaves. Pete looks up at the big board. Our train is leaving at 10 o'clock, he says. So this is the 10 o'clock right here. They must be leaving on that train. A train speeds by. That's a cargo train, Bob tells Pete. See how they carry all types of cargo. They wouldn't put people in there. They carry all the different things that you like to buy at the store. Pete's train has arrived. All aboard, calls the conductor. Pete's mom finds three seats. I can't wait to see Grandma, says Bob. I can't wait to explore the train, says Pete. The conductor comes to collect the tickets. Pete hands over his. I love trains, says Pete. I'll show you around, says the conductor. Wow, Pete says when they get to the caboose, we're going over a bridge. Look at that. He's in the caboose and they're over the bridge, over the water. Pete sees his mom and Bob. They're at the snack bar. Can you see them at the snack bar? Yeah. I got this for you, Bob said. Oh, look, he bought his brother an apple. Pete follows the conductor. He goes to the front of the train. There they go. Come in, says the engineer. Wow, Pete says. The engineer shows him the train. Look at it, fast, slow, stop. The engineer shows Pete the train's brakes. There is a tunnel up ahead. See that tunnel up ahead? As they go through the tunnel, Pete gets to honk the horn. Toot, toot. He gets to honk the horn. Everything is light again. Thanks for showing me around, Pete says. On his way back to his seat, Pete stops and makes new friends. Oh, look, everybody's riding. They live in different towns. They're getting off at different stops. Pete plays games. A little kid wears his hat. Pete sings a song. What a groovy ride. He looks like he's having a lot of fun on his train ride, huh? We'll get off at the next stop, says Pete's mom. Doo -doo. Pete looks out the window and sees. I don't know, what does he see? He sees his grandma. Grandma! Pete is the first one off the train. Pete's grandma gives him a big hug. It feels good. Pete loves riding the train, but he loves his grandma even more. Oh, look, he colored a picture of the caboose for his grandma. Isn't that nice? Boy, that sounds like a fun ride, a train ride, huh? So Pete the Cat took a train trip. I hope you enjoyed that book by James Dean. I hope you're all ready for sleep now. Now it's time, you know what happens. We say good night, sweet dreams, and have a great day tomorrow.